हेलो व्यूअर्स आई एम मिस्टर दिलीप कुमार पाल रीडर इन पॉलिटिकल साइंस वेलकम्स माय व्यूअर्स टू ए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज द पावर्स ऑफ द इंडियन प्राइम मिनिस्टर the topic powers of the indian prime minister is very relevant for the students of plus 2 first year plus 2 second year and students of plus 3 levels and it is a very useful video which relates with the powers of the indian prime minister but before we discuss what powers indian prime minister has we must know a few lines about the importance of the indian prime minister about indian prime minister l a s m a r i once told few dictators in the world enjoy such a measure of autocratic power as is enjoyed by a prime minister in a parliamentary form of government it means in a parliamentary form of government the prime minister has so much power that only a few dictators in the world enjoy that much of power so indian prime minister is a very powerful person again about indian prime minister b r ambedkar once told if there is any functionary functionary in india who can be compared with the american president he is the prime minister of india not the president of india it means indian prime minister is such a man who can be compared with the american president so indian prime minister is very powerful man due to this reason once jawaharlal nehru said prime minister is the prime minister he can lay down any policy if any person will say that prime minister cannot lay down a particular policy that statement is a wrong so indian prime minister is very powerful person but the now the question is what makes indian prime minister very powerful he has as many as eight type of powers out of eight powers seven are his important powers and eight one is the miscellaneous power indian prime minister has so much power for which he is a powerful person now you must be interested what powers indian prime minister possesses or handles we'll discuss one by one the first important power which the indian prime minister has formation of ministry the first important power of the prime minister is that he forms the ministry whenever in the country there will be general election after the election the party which secures major decisions in the lok sabha its leader is invited by the president and president appoints him as the prime minister and once the prime minister will be appointed then the prime minister will be asked to prepare a list of his colleagues then prime minister will prepare a list of his colleagues and submits it to the president 
and president has no other alternative but to appoint those persons as ministers whose name are in the list prepared by the prime minister it means to whom the prime minister wants he can make him a minister and to whom he wants he can exclude from the ministry so the prime minister has full power in the field of formation of ministry due to this reason it is said prime minister is central to the ministry central to its death and central to its life so no doubt the prime minister forms the ministry he takes a lot of things into consideration first of all he must see he will see that important members of the party should be in the ministry number two he must see that learned persons of the party should be in the ministry number three he must see that people of different religions at least should be in the ministry fourth he must see that people of a repeatedly from backward community also will be in the ministry and he will also try to place a women ministry women minister in the ministry so prime minister takes a lot of things at a time of formation of the ministry so it is a sensitive function of the prime minister he form the ministry number 2 the second important function of the prime minister is distribution of portfolios after ministry is formed the prime minister distributes portfolios or departments among his ministers he will decide which portfolio will be given to which minister but at the time of distribution of portfolio he will see that at least important members of the party should get important portfolio number 2 he will see that learned person of the party should be should get important portfolio so distribution of portfolio is a very crucial task of the prime minister again he has the power to divide a single portfolio into many parts and he has the power to merge two portfolio into one so second crucial function of the prime minister is that he form he distribute portfolio among the ministers number 3 chairman of the cabinet another function of the prime minister is that he is the chairman of the cabinet what is a cabinet by taking all the cabinet ministers plus prime minister the cabinet is formed and whenever there will be any problem for the country the prime minister convenes the meeting of the cabinet and decides what matter will be discussed in the cabinet the agent agenda of the cabinet meeting is prepared by the prime minister and that matter is discussed in the cabinet which prime minister wants to be discussed and after discussion what is the final decision of the cabinet it is also decided by the prime minister so the third important function of the prime minister is that he is the chairman of the cabinet then the fourth important power of the prime minister is that he is the sole advisor to the president the head of the country is the president but he will work on the basis of advice of some person and prime minister is the main advisor 
to the president. He advises the president about different matters of administration. What is discussed in the council of ministers? He communicates it. He is the link between council of ministers and the president. If prime minister will not intimate the president about various matters of administration, the president cannot know anything about the administration. That is why Article 78 says three important things. Number one, 78 clause 1 says, once a decision will be taken by the council of ministers, the prime minister intimates it to the president. Number two, 78 clause 2, if the prime minister has not intimated anything to the president considering not much important decision of the council of ministers if the president wants to know about it the prime minister intimate the president number three seven eight clause three says if on any occasion a decision is taken by a minister minister but it is not considered by the council of ministers if the president wants that decision should be discussed in the Council of Minister, then Prime Minister will discuss that decision in the Council of Minister. So the fourth important function of the Prime Minister in that he is the main advisor to the President. And number fifth, another important function of the Prime Minister which awards for you is supervisor role. The Prime Minister's another function is supervisor role supervisor role means the prime minister is the chief among ministers just like in a team there is a captain so the prime minister is the chief among ministers so as a chief he keeps a watch on the working of all ministers how the ministers are working in which manner they are handling the situation, the Prime Minister always keeps an eye. If necessary, he gives them advice. If necessary, he gives them warning. And if necessary, he encourages his ministers. He watches the activities of ministers. Then the sixth important function of the Prime Minister is the that he is the leader of the nation. The Prime Minister is the leader of the nation. All important announcements of the country is made by the Prime Minister. All important decisions of the government is declared by the Prime Minister. All the people of the country await eagerly to hear some important announcement from the Prime Minister. So he is the leader of the nation. If he is a man of personality, the country will have name and fame in the world forum. If he is not a man of decent personality, the country will not have that much of name in the form of international sphere. Okay, my viewers, another important function of the Prime Minister is that he is the coordinator of policies. It means on the Prime Minister, ministers are many, departments are many. Sometimes policies of departments overlap with one another, contradicts with one another. So it is the duty of the Prime Minister to coordinate among various departments because the ministry will have to function as a one body as an organic whole so if different department will function in their own way then the ministry will not work as a single body so it is the responsibility it is the function of the prime minister to coordinates the policies of different departments and track them in one 
direction. Beside these seven important powers, the Prime Minister has, he has also some miscellaneous power, other powers, under miscellaneous power other, or other powers. I have kept three important power of the Prime Minister. Number one, power over dissolution of lower house. You know it very well that the life of the lower house or looks over in five years. But whenever five years, five years will be completed, there will be election, a new Lok Sabha will be formed. So it is up to the Prime Minister to recommend the President whenever, when the Lok Sabha will have to be dissolved. The recommendation of the Prime Minister to the President for the dissolution of Lok Sabha carries a very important or significant advice on the basis of the recommendation and advice of the Prime Minister, the President dissolves Lok Sabha. Number two, another important mission function of the Prime Minister is that recommendation to President for important appointments. In the country, various important appointments are made. No doubt the President makes it. But the most important thing is that President makes important appointments on the basis of the recommendation of the Prime Minister. Different political posts like governor in different states, left and governors in different union territories, ambassadors in different countries are made by the President on the basis of the recommendation of the Prime Minister. Finally, another important mission function of the Prime Minister power of inclusion and exclusion of minister from the ministry. It is a very crucial function. The prime minister has the power to include any person in the ministry and he has power to exclude any person from the ministry. So, prime minister has as many as eight important powers which makes him a very powerful person in the national politics. Number one is that Prime Minister form the ministry. Number two, he distribute portfolio among his ministers. Number three, he is the chairman of the cabinet. Number four, he is the sole advisor to the president. And number five, supervisor role, he supervises the wars of different ministers. Number six, he is the leader of the country. Number seven, he coordinates policies of different departments. And finally, in the mission functions, we have included the Prime Minister advises the President when the Lok Sabha will have to dissolve. He gives recommendation to the President about important, important appointments. Finally, he can make his ministry in any way he likes. He includes any person in the ministry, he excludes any person from the ministry. So my viewers, I have full confidence that this video will be very much useful to those students who are very much sensitive, very much careful for their academic life. So, I request my viewers that you go through the video, try to understand every points of the video. You must have a diagram like this in your answer set. So, again, we will be here in another video. I am Mr. Dilip Marpal. Wish you goodbye and pray for the God you should have nice future.
ओके माई व्यूअर्स गुड बाय टू ऑल